number of well-known people have been found in these coded messages once or twice, but Lord Rael is the only person in history found thousands of times so far in these coded messages, often in complete sentences with congruent information attached to it, along with intimate details like birth information, important dates, and other such things. Computers have calculated the odds on many of these Lord Rael coded messages at well over a quadrillion to one against random chance. Statistics is hard science, and these odds are considered quantifiable fact in any court of law or academics. The coded messages declare that Lord Rael is the son of God and identify him as many messianic titles without ambiguity. And because we publish the discoveries online, any researcher is able to confirm the validity of these discoveries or deny them simply by researching through the same methodology. So unless you've been in a coma for the past seven years since the arrival of Lord Rael, you should have noticed the drastic increases in destructive weather, global forest fires, incoming meteors, serious earthquakes, floods, civil unrest, wars, and rumors of wars, mass animal die-offs, the rest of the prophesied biblical end times chastisements. Lord Rael has occasionally announced them publicly before they had happened, but the Bible code written over 3,000 years ago, keep in mind the Torah was written over 3,000 years ago, identifies these chastisements coming from or being done for Lord Rael. And we have published these discoveries both before and after these events. And the published predictions are dated and timestamped on Twitter, Facebook, and VK. So there's no way any of us could have faked it. So if you're asking for miraculous signs or displays that no magician could replicate without traveling back in time and altering the scriptures, there you have it. We also have a summarized list of divine punishments predicted by the Torah Code or evidently by Lord Rael before they had occurred. And that list goes on as well. At the same time, if you want to ask me about my personal beliefs, how I experience these things, I've been in Baja, well, let California. Me, let, the let me stop you there. Years. Let me stop you there. Before we before go we ahead. go into a, uh, into your personal, let's 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 take and deal with what uh, you said there because there's a lot to unpack in that um, in that right. thing. Now you you bring up these these Bible codes as uh, proof or, or evidence. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware, but we also ran some Bible codes, and my co-host Steve is actually Yahweh according to those Bible codes. Like you literally can find. I've not seen those. You literally, uh, Josh, Dr. Josh, Bowen, do you have those? I'm available. Uh, actually, I think David's got them. Yeah, David's got them. Wow. So okay. these, so, yeah, I mean, these I are some, these this. are some that we. Yeah, go ahead, Dr. Bowen. Yeah, t- yeah tell me how long I'm going to start. So, I uh, yeah, it's coming. Sorry, Steve. Um, so following the last stream, there was uh, something that was put up in the comments section. Uh, I think it was on something called Steam It, which uh, it, for those watching, remember. I'm really sorry. I need to get some more sleep. Um, uh, we found in the Torah code uh, or the Tanakh code, whatever you want to say, um, that J. Bowen is the Messiah, J. Bowen HaMashiach. Um, and of course... Uh, it was crossed by a bunch of other stuff. Uh, it was pointed out that uh, um, later on that Membate Sheen was found before that, which is is a really interesting form. Uh, it's a little comical, but at any rate, it means uh, as it was as it was translated by Angelus Domini, um, which I I suspect he got right from the from the program. Uh, a shameful thing, external genitals. Um, is uh j bowen the messiah well i mean i took all of 12 minutes maybe 13 on this program and you can see it there on the screen for anybody that cares um uh the same membe sheen before harayel so a shameful thing is rael and i mean you can see there and i i you know i pointed to a couple of them but you can find them if you're really interested you can buy the program for sixty dollars. Do this all yourself. But uh, you know, there's all kinds of things that you can cross with, uh, with, um, you know, with what's being shown there. So it's a little fuzzy on my screen. But uh, evil, wickedness. What's that last one that I pointed to? Uh, serpent. Yeah, Nachash. Um, so I, I 
anyway, so uh, sorry, there are three of them there if you want to go through all three of them, or we can do those later. Um, so there, our well, layer well is saving, here. of course, our layer is uh, something May that shows up in the Tor to codes. Each one of them before you skip over to each code? Let's let's talk about sure. the first code. Oh, real yeah, quick. sure, sure, sure. Okay, all right. So go. while while we're here, I want to point out a couple of facts. Um, I use the same program, the Keys to the Bible. Is that correct that you're using that program as well? Yeah, yeah. So you've left out certain key points of information, and your your methodology is also quite flawed. And I'll explain why. Um, at the same time. Let's look at this code for what it really is. I mean, you're, what we're showing here is what you want to show, and what you've discovered is what you wanted to discover. Um, it's obvious you are searching for certain terms that appeared at any possible skip within this matrix. Um, it looks like a complete mess, just looking at it face value. Uh, the spacing between the letters is completely different variance than what the actual ELS is for the main search term. You see that going right down the middle? That looks nice and clean cut right down the middle because it actually is a certain amount of skips within the word of God, but you don't show that. So it doesn't even show what the ELS skip was, where it occurs in scripture. And at the same time, now we're going to go over to these other terms that you're saying somehow apply to the search term, which in fact they don't because what would be applicable to the search term is something of a similar ELS skip as to what we're seeing in the search term. And you don't see that because you see all these spacings between the letters. That is indicating that those are on a completely different ELS skip. Although they appear in the matrix, you could find just about anything you want with that wide of a skip. So it really doesn't apply to Rael, at least not the way that mm -hmm. God intended it, with an ELS cipher. If you're going to read mm -hmm. the code the way that it was intended, you would only focus on the terms that are either A, close to the search term, large enough to not occur randomly, and also close spacing between the letters to know that it applies to that ELS skip, which you're finding in that search term. None of those apply to this. Maybe the search term, but you don't see the context, and you certainly don't see where it occurs in the scripture. So, And you're also showing that you're very biased in what you're searching. Now, I'm looking at all the other codes that show the exact same type of method, that you're finding what you want, and as opposed to what God would have intended you to find in a message from him, yeah, so for I'll, lack of a better uh, term. I'll, I'll, uh, sorry, go ahead. No, you can... Go ahead, Dr. Bowen. Oh, uh, yeah, so one, I find it somewhat comical that you would say that I'm looking for what I want, uh, given that I... I find it very difficult to believe that your Torah code people aren't looking for what they want. Uh, but again, anybody can run this program, so they can go do it. If you look at the, uh, if you want to pull up the second one. Uh, yeah, Arlier, another one that's uh, Arlier is Satan. Um, again, I think all of this is bullshit, right? So I don't think it means anything, but nonetheless, there it is. Uh, and then finally, if you want to go to the third one, can you it talk says, about the skips uh, that, that, that he brought up, um, Dr. Bowen, like um, what you used in terms of, I guess, how you found these, just so that we're, we're all out there on that? Uh, yeah, I mean, look, if you, got, if you guys want to go get the program and do it, um, I mean, do it yourself. You can check their codes and see if they're any different. Look at these here. Uh, you know, skip distance is the same. I mean... Uh, maybe that yeah, means that's, that that's this what is I wanna, more reliable, Steve. That's what. I, that's what I want to. That's ultimately what I, what I want I to uh, make it. sure that is out I, there. That you use this, the, pretty I'm much the same that. method, right? The methodology is the, pretty much the same. I mean, I find it uh, methodology is something that comes from peer review, right? So methodology. I mean, well, good methodology comes from peer review. So. Um, you know, if, if I could be, if somebody could produce for me a, a peer reviewed, a scholarly peer reviewed methodology, I will definitely use that. Um, this is me coming to the program and using it uh, based on, yeah. you know, how people use it online and uh, trying to trying to mimic right. how they used it in the uh, in the codes. But what I find interesting about well, this, uh, so I will say right up front, 
I, I honestly I don't give a fuck, um, you know, about about methodologies of Torah codes because it's bullshit. But um, and I, I know that sounds Tor- strong and maybe I just need to say well, a little more. But well, but no, I think it's I, I, to be honest with you, I think that it's I mean, Clark, you 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 chastised Dr. Bowen about his um, the, the way he approached this. But how is it any different from the 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 approach that you guys did with the uh, Torah code? Aren't you l- actively looking for? Um, Ryle's name in this to come up because that's part of the the narrative. Like how how is it any different from what you guys did? Well, there are examples that people are looking for the name, name Ryle in Torah code searches, but at the same time, it's not anything like a three letter word which could occur randomly at any point in the Torah code. Other words are not mathematically significant in the Torah code nor is a wide skip. And that applies to the Bible code as well. You want to call it Torah or to not code. Um, any type of uh, stickle anomaly needs to have as few variables as possible. And, you know, a shorter word is widens the variables immensely. So the longer the word, the less likely it is to occur. So we, right. our searches to five letter words in Hebrew. And if there's extensions, then we can go be, we can go beyond that rule and say, okay, Maybe there's letters that apply to, but if you you can you can Wikipedia Bible code or Torah code and it talks about mm-hmm. this. It, it's not beyond public knowledge. So obviously, you know, you said you put in 12 minutes here. Obviously, you're not taking it seriously. Of course, you would think anything. No, of course, bullshit. I'm not. Right, <laughs> right, right. right. That's the, Clark. <laughs> let me let me stop you real quick. That's the that's the that I think that's the point that you're you're um, that's escaping you a little bit. Um, he these words that he's putting in there are are words done in satire. Like what he's doing at, at in, a, in a broader sense is pointing out that you can literally find anything that you right. want in these codes. He's not actively looking for um, you know who is the Messiah. He's just demonstrating that no matter what you wanted to find, you can find it in um, these these Bible codes. Right, if and what I'm about to, to show you, you can find it. May, Sorry, may I if respond I could, to that just for a second? Yeah, um, a couple of things. Number one, uh, you know, let's set aside just for a second all the other, whatever you're calling them, the things that are diagonal and outside of the main search term, which is what you guys are doing, by the way. That's, um, that's not, you have a main that's search that's term that you look ahead. for, uh, and then you find things in, in, in parallel, and that's how the program does it, right? The program finds the words for you, and you find the words that, that look good. Uh, for every word that I found that was evil or wickedness, I could have found one that said wonderful and, you know, savior. I mean, it's, it's you can find whatever you want. The point is that you took what I did in the initial part seriously enough to put it on, somebody did anyway, put it on Steam it and say, wait a second, it does say Jay Bowen is the Messiah, but, but it says Membate Sheen before it. So it's a legitimate code. It just says Membate Sheen before it. Well, I've just pointed out, and there's a, there's one that I didn't put in there, that uh, Membate Sheen is uh, Arlier. Uh, t- uh, I can't remember what the word after it was, but it's one of the codes that you used. All I did was pull codes that you guys used, main search terms, and then put Membate Sheen before it, and boom, there it goes. I mean, so, you know, what I did, however you criticize it, which is fine, because if, if, if I mess up Bible codes, I, I go to sleep tonight, no problem. Um, but what you did with my code was taken and put, oh, look, man, Beit Sheen is behind it. So it's legitimate. It's just a shameful thing, J. Bowen, the Messiah. And what I've just shown you is that there we've got men, Beit Sheen before the Lord, uh, you know, Harael. So, uh, which is a code of yours. It's one of your main codes. Okay. I'll stop. Go ahead. So they, so they, they actually verified that one of your codes was real. Is that what you're saying? Or they said uh, it was a real code? appears to me. How yeah, actually I part? provided... If, if if I may, um, just to the things that you said, and then we'll get to my question. Of, uh, Clark, uh, I did not Clark, say, hold on one second. You're, you're, you're clipping, you're clipping, your microphone's clipping um, a little bit. You might want to refresh your browser and let it bring you back in because you're, we're getting every other word now. It's, it's kind of clipping hard. Um, okay. Is it still clipping? Your, no. Uh, keep talking. Okay. Do do I sound okay now? You're yes. good. Yeah, you're good now. You're good now. Okay. So I'll I'll try to limit my activity on this browser. How's that sound? Um, hopefully it doesn't cause any issues. Thank you for telling me that. So 
to respond to what you said about us doing the same that you're doing in the code, it is quite a bit 